major service organization held their regional convention this weekend in Lawson and several Muck students had the opportunity to share. We'll tell you all about it just ahead on Patriots Today. And I'm Ali Karajapaksa. Kiwanis is a worldwide organization that performs almost 150,000 community service projects every year in 80 countries. The Southwest Regional Convention was held this past weekend at the Aquarius Casino in Laughlin. Our school's key club and builders club are affiliated with the organization and several Mac students got to attend the convention including Junior Tomas Martinez, 7th grader Isaiah Hernandez, and Jessica Flores. Both Tomas and Jessica had the opportunity to speak in front of several hundred Kiwana members on behalf of our school. The two of them had the crowd rolling in laughter with their speeches. The Patriot Liftathon is coming up this Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon. The event is being held to purchase new equipment and retain our existing gear for the physical education and athletic programs. Participants will perform a maximum lift for the bench press, squat, and deadlift. These three numbers will be added together for a three lift total. The goal is to have family and friends sponsor you with a pledged amount per pound. So far, we have 13 lifters competing with more than 40 sponsors backing them financially. All competitors need to check with Mr. Turco today or tomorrow. The Malk Interact Club participated in the Bullhead City Pride event this past weekend. Students were on hand to raise money with the Purple Pinky Project, which is aimed at combating polio around the world. Local city officials so showed their report including Mayor Jack Hakem, the City Council members Sam Medrano and Jerry Duvall. Prom is coming up next month, so it's time to go dress shopping and looking for tux rentals. The theme this year is Viva Las Vegas 2014, but you won't have to go any further than our own mini version of Vegas across the river. The prom is being held in San Juan Vera Cruz room at the Harris Casino in Laughlin on Saturday, April 5th from 7 to 11 p.m. Get your tickets right away. Key Club meets today during lunch in Mrs. Sessions room. Also, the middle school book club is holding a meeting this Thursday before school at 7.30 in the morning. The club will be choosing a new book to read, so now would be a great time to join if you're interested. And that's our school news. We'll take a look back at Today in History. The United States Army Corps of Engineers was established in 1779. In 1850, the Women's Medical College of Pennsylvania opened. Franklin D. Roosevelt signed the Lend Lease Bill in 1941. Stephanie Schneider joins us today with the sports report. Stephanie? Thank you, Raina. We've got an update on the middle school games from last Thursday for you. Both baseball and softball played against the teams from Mojave Valley Junior High at River Valley High School Field. The softball team, co led by Coach Linda Manis, went into a doubleheader after only two weeks of practice. They lost the first game 12-4 to after giving up eight runs in the first inning. Both Kayla Fernandez and Claudia Ruiz had big bats for Malk in the game. The second game was closer, but the girls still struggled in the first inning, giving up five runs before losing 10-6. Katherine Ketcherson came through with a big hit in the game. The lights went out in the last inning while the Junior Patriots were on base with two runners and only one came out. Both Kayla and Michaela Strickland pitched great games after getting past the first inning. The baseball team with Coach Sagasta also played at River Valley. Unfortunately, we didn't get any info on the game to share with you. Both middle school teams head over to Bullhead City Junior High this afternoon. Last night, the soccer teams opened up their season with a home game against the Arizona Collegiate Eagles. The two teams were supposed to play for the first time last week in Phoenix, but the away game had to be rescheduled because of a flooded field. Yesterday, our Patriots came out and scored the first goal on a kick by Derek Hedge. The Collegiate team only made a single goal in the gameplay themselves. However, a series of penalties throughout the game cost our squad as the Eagles went on to score another seven points on penalty kicks to win the game 8-1. to one. The Patriots head to Yuma next Monday to play, the, to play Harvest Prep. The High School Winter Sports Awards will be held this evening at 5 p.m. in the gym. The awards will recognize athletes from the girls and boys basketball teams as well as the cheerleaders from the winter season. 
Following the award presentations, the annual student staff basketball game will be held. Tension, in, tension is high across the campus going into the game, with both sides expecting an intense level of competition. A number of teachers have announced sudden injuries in the past few days, while Coach Kern stated publicly that he does not believe there are five female staff members on the campus that can handle his team's bench, let alone their starters. Either way, come out and support the team of your choice this evening in the gym. On the following evening, middle school, the Middle School Winter Sports Awards will be held, also at 5 p.m. in the gym. The Middle School Boys and Girls Basketball teams will receive recon recognition for their season. And that's your sports report, and I'm Stephanie Schneider. Thank you, Stephanie. We've got more community news in a moment right after today's lunch menu. <laughs> with a few more news stories from our community in the world. The Fort Mojave Valley, wait, the Mojave Valley Fort Mojave Community Project will be open this fall when the grass on the football field and soccer fields is fully grown. The fields will be seeded later this month when the park's irrigation system is operational. The park has been a long-time dream for area residents who currently have to drive Bullhead City to Needles if they want to visit a park. The project has been um, a community effort that has kicked off with the donation of 39 acres of land by the Cheryl family on the lease of for a dollar a year. Investigators come through the wreckage of a collapsed theater stage at the Southern California High School on Sunday. They're trying to determine why the stage buckled during a performance sending 25 students to the hospital with minor injuries. About 250 students from Rosary High School were singing and dancing on the platform when they fell about 5 feet. Inspectors will double check the school stage permit and determine if it's up to date. They will also review whether the permit included a weight restriction or a limit number on people, of people allowed on the stage. The investigation is expected to take a couple of weeks. With no one else on the ballot to run against North Korea's state media report on Monday that Supreme Leader Kim Jong Un was not only elected to head up to the country's legislative branch, but he also won the electorate. With 100% of the vote, North Koreans went on the poll on Sunday to prove the new roster of deputies with the Supreme People's Assembly, the country's legislative. The vote generally held once every five years. And that's it for the news, but before we go, here's your word of the day. tomorrow with more. Don't forget to come out for the student staff game at the gym at 5.